After week one of the official practice schedule in the books, we checked in with ETSU head coach Brittany Ezell about the progress of her team. I'm really pleased with our, uh, our attitude, our effort. Um, we're really working on being good on things that don't require talent. Um, and when you're good at those things, then it frees up your talent to make natural plays and to be able to do things within our offense that don't have to be coached. Um, still learning defensively, learning transition, but uh, so far today was day six. Uh, really pleased with their effort and uh, getting really good leadership from our upperclassmen. We're really working defensively. We're really working on our transition game. Um, and, and every day we're really trying to focus on our team chemistry, um, who plays well together, trying to find matchups that we like. Um, and it's really, you know, just being consistent on a daily basis. Um, you know, we tell them all the time, if you want to be taken seriously, you have to be consistent. And uh, we're getting there. We've only had one poor day um, in that six. So I've been really pleased with the consistency so far. Clearly our backcourt is, is far more advanced. Uh, Chandler Christopher, Tiana Tartar, Shamaria Bridges. I even uh, would probably put Carly Litton in that group. Um, Sedasia Tips has probably been the most pleasant surprise of the fall camp and uh, her effort has just been amazing. Um, but I'm getting good things out of different ones every day. I can't just single one of them out. So um, if they'll continue to be consistent on an individual basis, it makes us collectively better. Uh, we're trying to do a lot more of competitive things. Our kids respond to competitive environments and I love that about them. But, um, just uh, baby steps. We're 32 days away from our first game, not counting exhibition. So uh, taking baby steps and, uh, and crawling till we get there. Reporting from Brooks Gymnasium, this has been Parker Schwartz for the Buccaneers Sports Network.